Hi there, Wig Lover, and this is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm bringing you a review of the French Curl by Belle Tress in the color Sugar Cookie with Hazelnut. Before I get started, I would like to talk about the wig color for just a moment. It's a lot like the Golden Sunset HT color from Revlon. It's a really pretty, warm, sort of ginger um, brown, light brown, that has golden blonde highlights on top. So, very pretty color. And then we also have a very nice medium brown root on top of that. I haven't put French curl on yet because I wanted to show you the curl texture right out of the box. I haven't done anything to this wig. So all I'm going to do is just kind of run my fingers through it. I don't really want a comber, at least not yet. I want to see if I can get the curls to relax just a little bit with just my fingers. That looks much, much more natural now. I'm going to go ahead and put this on for you. Let me fix the part before I do that though. I suspect that's going to be easier when it's not on my head. Okay, now let me go ahead and put this one on. Okay, so now let me show you what French curl looks like on all sides. Definitely tell she's got the bump in the back. So let's talk about this wig a little bit. French curl has a monofilament top, so let's go ahead and zoom in on that. See, that's a really well threaded monofilament top with very small knots. She also has a lace front. Let me push this down so you can see a little bit better. You can see that's a pretty dense lace front there. And it does go from ear tab to ear tab. This wig has a ton of hair and weighs about six ounces. So quite a substantial wig. These sides None of these measurements, I'm, I was going to say the measurements, but I realized that none of these measurements are meaningful because the wig is so curled. But let's just say it's definitely a boob hugger, and the layers in the front are really long, and the nape is 18 inches. So this is a long one, especially if you straighten her out. This is a heat-friendly synthetic material, so be really careful when you style this one and when you comb it. This is a really luscious wig with a lot, a lot of hair. <laughs> Just a ton. It does seem at the crown that built in, they've put a little bit of a bump. It doesn't feel like permatease though, it just feels like it's built into the cap. I'm going to go ahead and take this one off so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. So this is the top of French Curl. It's a seamless monofilament top with a lace front, so there is no seam between the two, which is pretty awesome. The rest of the cap is also hand-tied, which is awesome. There's polyurethane here at the ear tabs for adhesive. And the lace, as I said, goes from ear tab to ear tab. And we do have a slightly extended nape, though it's not fully extended, and it just a bit like a bra strap in the back. This wig is relatively stretchy. It's quite stretchy up here at the top. And there's that wig texture again. Got a little bit of shedding going on. But yeah, like I said, it feels like the top of the cap has been made to have a little bit of a bump, but it doesn't have any permatees back here at all. So it's just built into the cap. There are a lot of wigs that do stuff like that. So there you go. This is French Curl by Beltress. The color is Sugar Cookie with Hazelnut, which is a really nice warm sort of ginger blonde. I'm Heather from SisterWigs.com. Thank you for watching my videos, and until next time, I hope you have a really great night. Bye-bye.